Hello, welcome back again to the List Page Configuration Series, I'm Tuzik. In today's episode of List Page Properties, we will go through the default query configuration. So let's get started. Click on any table you want to configure, now click on the List Page. Under List Page Properties, locate default query configuration, that should be the second category. Let's start with the first property. Join Tables. Over here, Join Tables field, click on this small dots button on right. This property allows us to join and list records of different tables on one page. This is made possible by the use of common keys. Before we continue, close this modal page, let's take a look at two tables with common key fields to join. I'm going to use the Demography table and Product table. I will match the Demography ID field with the Product Customer ID field. Let's join the two tables together on the Demography List page. On the left side, we have a table list. Click on any table you want to join, I'm going to click on the Products table. With these buttons, then click on Add Table buttons. Selected tables are displayed here. Click on a table, to connect other tables. On the right side, we have input fields to connect tables using a common key from both table. Click on this down arrow button located on the left field input bar, choose a common key field from the default table. Click on the down arrow button located on the right field input bar, choose a common key field from the second table selected. There is also a join type field, with this we can decide join type. Click on the input fields, select type of table join you want. Once done click OK. We can see the fields from another table, all joined together on this list page. Let's publish and preview our change. OK. Navigate to the table we configure to see changes. OK. Let's move to next property on the default query configuration, which is where where is a logic or condition statement used to filter records from a table? Let's make use of it. Click on where input field, click on this small dots icon on the right. Inside this area, we can type a query statement. To do that, double click on the field we want to query. As we can see, Rad System Studio insert the snippet by default. The first parameter on this function is the name of the file we query. The second parameter is the value of what we want to filter. I'm going to change it to malt. Next, is to change the db variable to query. Once done, Click OK. Click Publish and then click Preview. Next property is Having. Having is a conditional statement similar to Where statement. It is used to filter records, what makes it different is, Having statement deals mostly with integers, also known as numbers. With this we can filter records range. The next property is order by. This property allows us to sort record in ascending or descending order. You can select any field you want to sort records with, and then choose order type. By default, records are set to descending order. Click OK, let's preview and see. Now let's set it to ascending order. Click OK. Publish and preview. The next property is Record Limit. Record Limit set a maximum number of record a page can list at a time. Record Limit works hand in hand with pagination. By default, Record Limit is set to 20 records. Let's check it out. As we can see, there are maximum record limit of 20 to change it. Click on the Record Limit input fields and then input a limit 
I'm going to input 10. Let's publish and preview. As we can see, maximum record limit is 10 records, to see more we can use the pagination buttons below. Now we have learned how to use list page default query configuration. In our next tutorial, we will learn how to configure inline edit properties. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tutorials like this.